Nature is a ruthless mother. At times, not only does she end her own children's lives, but she can also cause mass genocide. Hello everyone, today humans are the leading cause of the death of many living creatures, but it is nothing compared to the global environmental crisis in the past. During this video, we would like to present you with a visualization of the mass extinctions that have occurred. Doesn't it sound interesting? Please, take a seat and enjoy. Well then, what are we waiting for? Let's begin. Mass Extinction at the End of the Ordovician The Ordovician period, which began about 485 million years ago and lasted about 40 million years, was when marine life most thrived. It is believed that nothing lived on land, except in the coastal areas. Earth's sea was mainly warm and shallow, allowing many polypods, shellfish and seaweeds to live. If any scuba diver dived into the ocean in this era, they'd be thrilled. But what a surprise! Those wide varieties of fascinating creatures became extinct at the end of the Ordovician period. The extinction occurred in two separate events, resulting in the disappearance of approximately 85% of all marine species. Scientists believe that the first extinction was due to intense cold weather. Generally, the Ordovician was a cold period, but the apparent ice age occurred sometime between 440 to 450 million years ago. Most of the total landmass that existed at that time was the continent of Gondwana, but due to the movement of the continental plates, it ended up near Antarctica. Just picture the southern hemisphere occupied by a giant landmass of Antarctica. That is exactly what happened. As glaciers form, the sea level lowers. As the ice became bigger, more and more water was removed from the ocean. This is the reason that may have caused the creatures in the shallow water to suffocate. It is like a fish left behind at low tide. Still, some organisms were able to adapt to icy waters. It is believed that trilobites, conodonts, echinoderms and many corals managed to survive, but with the end of the ice age came the second wave. This time, global warming reduced the amount of oxygen in the atmosphere and released toxic sulfur dioxide again causing the extinction of many species. As a result, the Earth became a little quieter and less crowded. Mass Extinction at the End of the Devonian Period The Devonian Period began after the Ordovician. The Devonian is also known as the age where fish were dominant. Fish were born during the Ordovician Period but remained on the fringes of the biological world but they didn't flourish until their competitors became extinct. An example of this is the Sarcopterygian. It was thought to be extinct until 1938 when suddenly a blue old looking colaconth was captured in South Africa that year. They were the last survivors of the Sarcopterygian species. We may discuss the fate of the colaconth in a different video one day. What I am about to show you now is about a sister group that has become extinct. They eventually evolved into amphibians such as Ichthyostega, which may have been as much as 1.5 meters in length. Ichthyostega is also said to be one of the first creatures to live on land. In front of them, there was a mass of land where they could move freely. Plants advanced on land before animals. Primitive plants, such as Equisetum hymale, bearded vines and ferns finally covered all of the lands in green. Insects and arthropods also started appearing. These creatures continued to live until the Kelwasser event 372.2 million years ago. Then, another 14 million years later, the Hangenberg event occurred. Researchers do not know for sure what these two incidents were like. As a result, many species disappeared, especially in the sea. Incidentally, the extinct organisms became oil deposits. Every time you fill up your cars with gasoline, you are putting in refined remnants of fish that had some sort of misfortune during the Devonian. 
mass extinction at the end of the Permian. For whatever reason, many people believe that the most tragic and devastating mass extinction for living creatures was the famous dinosaur extinction that occurred 65 million years ago. Perhaps it's because dinosaurs are so popular. But in reality, the worst mass extinction in history occurred even earlier, at the end of the Permian period, about 250 million years ago. The mass extinction at the end of the Permian period dealt a heavy blow to the branching evolution tree. Several species have disappeared from the world. The Trilobites, swimming peacefully in the ocean for hundreds of millions of years, finally disappeared. The Anapsid also disappeared. Not even insects were able to dodge. Approximately 75% of the species did not survive. And when it comes to what happened at sea, some researchers say that as many as 95% of all marine species became extinct. Can you imagine how spacious the ocean would be? The cause of the death of so many plants and animals is not clear. One theory supported by researchers is that of meteorite impact. If there were a collision between a giant asteroid a few kilometers in diameter and Earth, it would be as powerful as thousands of nuclear bombs detonating. An impact of that magnitude would undoubtedly have ejected large amounts of dust into the atmosphere and obscured the sun for a long time. As if Earth needed more chaos, volcanoes would also become more active. To sum it up, the world was like the definition of doomed. Mass Extinction at the End of the Triassic Period The mass extinction at the end of the Triassic which occurred around 200 million years ago, appears to have been a very short-lived event. Some researchers say that vast numbers of animals have disappeared in just 10,000 years. Some say the event was a little longer than that, perhaps 60,000 years, but either way, it was only a short period in terms of a geologic timescale. Even Homo sapiens, a species that emerged on Earth fairly recently, has been around longer than that. The Crorotarsi, a distant relative of the crocodile, were the main victims of the mass extinction at the end of the Triassic period. With the exception of Cynodontia, Therapsida became extinct as well. Cynodontia looks like a breed between a dog and a crocodile, and later in evolution they would become the ancestors of the first mammals, but that is still far later in history. The cause of the mass extinction at the end of the Triassic is not known. Maybe this is also due to the asteroid, or maybe there was a more powerful eruption than the Krakatoa eruption. As always, there is more for researchers to figure out. And as for the aftermath of this extinction, here is a relatively evident and exciting fact. The mass extinction left an opportunity for a new creature to thrive. Everyone's favourite, dinosaurs. Mass extinction at the end of the Cretaceous. Finally, let's get to the most appetizing part of this video. Some 65 million years ago, a giant meteorite fell to Earth, creating the Chicxulub crater in Mexico. This unprecedented catastrophe caused the extinction of the dinosaurs and the disappearance of many other creatures living on the land. Here's a typical way to explain extinction. Herbivorous dinosaurs feed on greens, carnivorous dinosaurs chase them around, and pteranodons fly in the air. All of a sudden, a meteorite hits the calm scene, leaving nothing but dry, parched earth in its wake. Of course, what actually happened is different. When we introduced you to the mass extinction at the end of the Permian, we showed you a picture of the so-called volcanic winter. The same was true for the end of the Cretaceous period. For the longest time, the earth was dim dark all day long, where plants first disappeared then followed by the herbivores. As a result, predators, the carnivorous dinosaurs, also became extinct. The bigger the animal, the more food it needs. So, Tyrannosaurus, with its huge body, was the most vulnerable of the entire species. Well then, this concludes today's video. The mass extinction at the end of the Cretaceous period brought the Earth to its current environment. After living for millions of years in the shadow of the dinosaurs, 
the ancient Therapsids and their descendants, the mammals, have finally taken the spotlight of the stage. Some of them were distant ancestors of humans, but dinosaurs could have hunted them down without the mass extinction event. I have nothing but gratitude for the nameless meteorite. As always, thank you all for watching. We will continue to bring more and more exciting things, so look forward to seeing you again. That's it for now. Goodbye!